there have been wide reports that although the Duke and Duchess wanted to become financially independent, they also wanted to continue to serve the Queen in their new role. This would have allowed for a half-in, half-out agreement where the Dukes and Duchess would not need to fully commit to their roles as senior royals, but could still have played their part. However, this request was rejected in January 2020. This meant that the Duke and Duchess had to permanently step down from their roles as senior royals, as they could no longer formally represent the Queen. In new claims, Royal author Robert Jobson has claimed that Prince William was a key aspect in why this request was rejected. Mr Jobson believes the input Prince William had on Prince Harry's departure is why there may be a division between the brothers. Speaking on the Royally Us podcast, Mr Jobson said, I don't know what direction they're going to go in. I think that they may have had a sort of a plan where they were halfway in and halfway out. That wasn't going to happen really from Prince William more than anybody saying, you can't have it both ways. Mr Jobson has also claimed that the decision by Prince William is in preparation for the Duke of Cambridge to eventually become king in the future. He said, when the Queen passes, Prince Charles is not going to be on the throne for very long. So the future of the monarchy really rests on the shoulders of Prince William and the Cambridge family. So really, a lot of the decisions, he will be consulted on, and I know that his position was very strong that you can't have it both ways. Because you can't be seen to be making money commercially but at the same time saying that you're serving the people, because you can't get paid by both. Mr Jobson has said it is unclear what exactly the tiff between the brothers was that has caused him to be so divided, however, he believes there have been a number of factors leading to this moment. He said, they clearly disagreed, and I don't know the one thing that turned it, but I would say that they clearly disagreed with the way that Harry was going about things. And I also think that he was quite shocked when Harry gave an interview in South Africa and effectively started airing the dirty linen in public. There's a lot of things. I think also Harry felt he was not happy with the lack of support over his marriage to Meghan. But at the end of the day, they were very close as young men, Let's hope that over time, wounds can heal, but I do think these are quite deep wounds. Thank you.